Okay, welcome back grade 11s to our last example of these examples. And by now we shouldn't be too scared off by these. Looking, oh, they're fractions, they're fractions and exponents, negatives, all sorts going on. And we're going to introduce that idea of prime factorizing or working with prime bases that I hinted at in the last video. Okay, so let's look at this 1 over 16. I want to turn that into just powers of 2 or 3 or prime numbers. So let's just look at the 16. If we want to see what 16 is as a power of 2, we can use our calculator, which we've looked at in class to go. You can use that shift fact button, and it will tell you that 16 is 2 to the power of 4. Then we can use our exponent laws and say, well, 1 over 2 to the 4 is the same as 2 to the negative 4. Okay, so why is this helpful? We can write the numerator then as... 2 to the negative 4 in place of the 1 over 16. And the rest will remain the same. So x squared, y6, and we're putting that whole thing to the power of a half. Now let's do the same thing with the denominator and say, well, let's look at this 1 over 4 and say, well, 1 over 4, that's 1 over 2 squared. That's the same as 2 to the negative 2 because we know our exponent laws with negative exponents, which means we can write that as 2 to the negative 2. Now, the rest remains the same. So x squared, y6, no, well, I'm looking at the numerator for some reason, sorry, x, y squared, minus 2. The rest remains the same as the denominator. Okay, now we can just use our exponent laws, and this makes our lives a lot easier and also means that we're showing our working and allows us to do the more complicated questions that are coming along. So let's simplify this. That equals that, and that equals, well, now we're just applying our exponent laws. So we've got 2 to the negative 4 raised to the power of a half. Well, the base stays as is, and we just multiply the exponents. So negative 4 times a half is negative 2. So that becomes 2 to the negative 2. And maybe you can see where this is going to help us when we've simplified the denominator. Okay, the rest we've done quite a bit of already. So x squared to the half, multiply exponents, that's x to the power of 1, because 2 times a half is 1. <coughs> Next up, we have y to the 6 to the half, 6 times a half is 3. And so we can go. Let me just look at this 2 to the negative 2 in more detail. 2 to the negative 2 to the power of negative 2. Well, again, we're just multiplying exponents. The base stays the same, 2. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So this will be 2 to the 4. The rest isn't too bad, similar to what we've been doing so far. So we've got x to the minus 2 and y squared to the minus 2. Multiply exponents, negative 4. So where this has really helped us is that in the next step, we're simplifying, and now we've got 2 to the negative 2 over 2 to the 4. And we can treat that, this part over here, to do with exponents rather than just going, oh, well, merrily punch it in the calculator. So 2 to the negative 2 divided by 2 to the 4. Well, we just use our exponent laws. The base stays the same and we subtract exponents. So we've got negative 2 minus 4, negative 6. So 2 to the negative 6. And so we can keep simplifying. x to the 1 over x to the minus 2, 1 minus minus 2. Well, base stays the same, and we subtract exponents. y to the 3, y to the minus 4. Base stays the same, 3 minus minus 4, y to the 7. And that's our final answer. If we want to leave it like that, if we really wanted to work this out, we could say, oh, well, let's see. 2 to the power of negative 6 is 1 over 64. And we could think of this as 1 over 64, x cubed, y7. But this is a perfectly good way to leave it. And we managed to simplify this without blindly punching things into our calculator and going, oh, a quarter to the negative 2 and having very little understanding of what that is. So that's where we need to move to. So that's why we move to this example. So when you enjoy exercise one with all the fun that it's going to offer you, make sure you're doing this with the prime bases. It's good practice. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next one for the next examples. Cheers.